Hello, everybody. Welcome to a, another uh, Trustees Vintage live sale. And this is another edition of Four Sellers, One Sale, 4S1S. And as you can see, we've got four sellers joining us tonight. Uh, this is the first Thursday of October. And if you had not already heard the news, I normally I do one uh, group event uh, each month. This is my one year anniversary uh, in the resale business. And so yeah. this month, every Thursday will be a group sale. So we've got four people tonight. We will have four again. And there happen to be five Thursdays in October. So there will be five group sales all this week. But tonight, super excited uh, to have for the first time on my channel, have Nicole Northgarten. So, so excited to have Nicole. Uh, welcoming back Fatbird Finds, Laura and Mary Beth, because they're so much fun to have on the channel. And as I've been doing in all my group sales, I have one uh, individual reseller who is for the first time doing a live sale. And tonight that is Laura Bemos from Bemos Mercantile. So appreciate uh, everyone joining and supporting all of the group. So we can go ahead and see like who we've got joining us tonight. We got Kat, the nurse flipper. I always like to give her a shout out because she was instrumental in me crossing over the 1,000 sub mark uh, a month ago. So I appreciate uh, you joining us, Kat. Uh, we've got Hemlock Lady from, uh, or Tania from Hemlock Lady Mercantile. She will be joining a sale later in the month. So we'll have her in her first sale. Uh, we've got Beth from Carolina Princess. She will also be joining us for a live sale later this month. So that'll be her, uh, one of her live sales. Uh, Katie from Vintage and Vinyl will also be doing a live sale. So we're having uh, Katie will be joining us doing the first time reselling. Uh, appreciate some of the people that are coming back. Karen, great to have you back. Hey, Mary. Oh, okay, I just lost Mary. Well, Mary, you're here somewhere. But I just lost. I just lost that something reset in the chat. Now I can't find you. Um, so uh, welcome to. Oh, there we are. There's Mary. So thanks for joining us, Mary. Glad to have another reseller with us. We got Michelle from Comfy Cozy Living. She heard that I had some boho tonight. So uh, she made sure that she was signing on. Um, most of the names I'm recognizing. Hey, Kelly, she's going to be doing a live sale with us later this week or later this month from Found Again Resale. Uh, so we've got uh, a lot, again, a lot of people who've been here before. But just in case, there are a couple names that I'm not recognizing. Hey, Rebecca, um, if you are new, uh, this is going to be uh, pretty much the same format as all of the other live sales. So if you've participated in any live sale, this should look familiar. Uh, we will just be going round robin. So each one of us will be selling an item in turn. This is a sale, not an auction. So we will not be doing any offer up. No, no, bid, no, none of the cutesy names that hide the fact it's an auction. Um, these are just outright sales. So this is a traditional first person to claim the item in the chat is the person who will get that item. So uh, you want to make sure that you're refreshing your feed as often as you can. Uh, if at any point you see somebody typing numbers into the chat and you haven't heard us say a number yet, you're buffering. You may not think you're buffering, but you are. So you need to refresh your channel. Uh, refresh the either on your phone, you can just close it and open it up again. On your computer, you can just hit the refresh button. Um, that'll give you the best best shot uh, to get the first dibs of the items that are coming through. Uh, all of the prices that we give you will be for the item only. Uh, we will combine items that you purchase from within a, a, an individual seller. We will obviously combine those for shipping and we will calculate a shipping based on your shipping address. Unfortunately, we cannot combine across sellers because once again, we have four sellers representing four different states. So please keep in mind, Nicole Northgarden is shipping out of Minnesota. Minnesota. Fatbird Finds is shipping out of Kentucky. Bemos Mercantile is shipping out of Oklahoma. And I am trusty up here, Mercantile shipping out of Chicago. So you've got, we pretty much have the Midwest well covered, uh, <laughs> but we cannot combine. So just keep that in mind as you're bidding. If you buy one item from all four of us, you will get four separate shipments. Uh, but that's relatively straightforward as it is keep in mind where we're shipping from. Uh, everything else should pretty much work the same. We will again go around Robin and we're going to get things started uh, right off the bat with Nicole Northgarden. So we will start with her. Yay. All right. So the first thing I have up is this plate and it is Russian. So I cannot read anything from the back. I have sold one of these before. It's wooden, I think, and hand painted. It's kind of glossy. It's in very good shape. Um, a little scuffing like here the bottom but for the most part it's in pretty good shape it does have its um, little string for hanging 
on the back. And pretty, it would be really pretty for Christmas time or for your everyday decor. It is number one. Oops, there we go. And it's six dollars. Number one, six dollars. Okay, I can see right now I'm gonna want to shop. I know, right? So first of all, thanks Patrick for having us on. We appreciate it so much. Okay, so our very first item is this adorable little cat planter. Look at his face. And he's got like all these little stitches painted on him. He is a planter. He's so cute. He originally had a sticker underneath that has since been um, scraped off. But I would imagine that would have originally said Japan on it. And he's got that little blue, I love him. He's got that little blue bow around his neck. He's nine dollars, Mary Beth. Nine dollars. And he's number fifty two. Nine dollars, number fifty two. Hello. In case you guys don't know, I'm not selling vintage tonight. I am selling resin art, which is what I do on the side. And I'm gonna start off with something that Patrick's known for, coasters. So I have a set of six coasters here and they will be $25 and this is number 26. All right, so I'll change what my first item was going to be in recognition of what Nicole Northgarden put up because I also have a piece of Russian lacquerware. Hers might have been uh, wooden, mine is lacquerware. So this is a Kokloma uh, bowl. I've sold several pieces of the Kokloma style Russian lacquer, uh, but this is the first one I've ever sold that actually has a USSR uh, label on it. So it's a little bit faded, but if you look really closely, you can see the made in, and then you have the R left over at the end, and just the way it's centered, it's the same length as made. So you've got four letters, so made in the USSR. And it also has the date uh, that it was made, which was 1959. So it's a true piece of vintage Kokloma. Uh, it's in great shape. It's got the gold, uh, gold uh, interior, gold trim on the sides, all hand painted. They might be strawberries, but might more likely they're pomegranates, although that one kind of looks like a strawberry. So we've got a little mixture of just a little decorative bowl, fruit bowl, whatever you want to use it for. It is uh, a lacquer piece known as Kokloma. Uh, it is available for $9, and for $9 you get that for giving me number 78. Sorry, sorry, Patrick, I'll get the hang of this. <laughs> My next item is a vintage candy tin. It's Macintosh's Quality Street Chocolates and Toffees. And uh, it's in really good shape. I washed it up. Oh, the reflection is kind of bad. This is lavender. It's got the two, the man and the woman on the front. Um, I think it's scenes of England. There's the back stamp. And here's the inside. Pretty good shape. I did clean toffee off of it. So it really had candy in it at one time. And so the tin is number two and it's six dollars. Okay, so the winner on our last round for the little cat planter was Stacy Brinkley. Thank Thanks. you, Stacy. Thanks, Stacy. Okay, our next item is gonna be a bottle lot. So we've got three bottles for you guys. It's your favorite. I love bottles. <laughs> so the first one I've got here is just a brown bottle. Mm -hmm. There's no writing on there. There is a small little number mark thing on the bottom. This one is brown. The second one I have is a pint bottle, excuse me, half pint bottle as you can see there. And it is, uh, let's see, federal law forbids resale of this bottle. So uh -oh. I'm breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> and then thirdly, thirdly, I've got a little bottle of sweet oil. Did you ever use sweet oil? What is sweet oil? I, I don't know. My grandmother used to like put it in my ears if I had an earache. Really? Mm -hmm. So this is sweet oil, Dr. Lane's sweet oil. There's just a tiny bit left in there for you guys. I wouldn't recommend it, however. So yeah, three bottles. Okay, you can get all of those for just $8. That's really cheap. $8. Yeah, and it's number 64. Number 64. Hey, I was on the swim team and sweet oil is good for swimmers. Yeah. All right, 
My next item, I have a keychain here. It has a pink wine glass on it, pink handle, black poofy ball, and a pink tassel. And this is $10, and it is number 29. All right, and I'd like to thank uh, Sandy Otto picked up the Kokoma Bowl uh, number 78. So thanks for picking that up. Uh, and I know your name is not Sandy because I want to say Sandy and Otto or the, maybe your dogs or cats, gerbils. Um, so I apologize, I don't remember your real name, but Sandy Otto, thank you very much uh, for picking that up. Uh, one of the things I like to do in the group sales is try and find things that remind me of the other people in the sales. And everyone told me every time I sold something that was Holly Hobby that Nicole Northgard needed to buy it. And unfortunately I didn't have any Holly Hobby. So I had to come to a Holly Hobby a pseudo Holly Hobby. So these are Holly Hobby era, I would say that I would assume that these are from the 70s, maybe early 80s, but they are simple wall plaques. Uh, at one, once upon a time, uh, they were probably glued to a backing board of how you purchase them. There is the little hole at the top to be able to hang it, but it doesn't go all the way through the picture. So you've got the one of the little boy with his dog looking a little like a goat, but you've got the boy with the dog goat. Uh, they're in vintage condition. If you look really closely along some of the edges, you can see there's a little bit of wear, uh, but just proves to the, the, uh, the vintage nature. And then you've got the girl with her cat who looks absolutely terrified. Um, so you've got the girl and the boy plaque, both of them uh, in hanging condition. You get the pair of them for $7. You can get that by giving me number 76. $7, number 76 for the pair of plaques. I neglected to mention that the winner of the Russian plate, uh, maybe it's lacquerware. I'm taking notes from you, Patrick, because I learned so much from you. Uh, so I'm gonna look that up, <laughs> see if that's what I'm supposed to call that. It was Lisa Carl was the winner. Okay, so. The next item I have are a set of doilies. I thought this one would be really cute for fall. It actually has orange and green in it. And then paired with this one, so it's just a set of two. And um, they are $6 for the pair, and it's number three. $6 for the pair. Okay, so the winner on our last round of the bottles is going to be Christina, Postcards, and Patina. That Thanks. rhymes. <laughs> Thanks, Christina. <laughs> we also, Jamie had written in the comments, um, Holly Hobby-esque with yeah. a LOL. <laughs> we also have something that's Holly Hobby-esque. And it's kind of resin. It is. So this is like an honor. We picked this in honor of Laura Vimos, who is on this sale. That's right. Okay, so we've got this little prairie bonnet girl who is resin. I don't know, this like predates plastic, right? I, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. So she's just got her little bonnet on and she's got these flowers here that have been dipped in the resin. And she is a napkin holder. Yeah, maybe Laura Bemos can say something about the way that she's made. I don't know, but they were just like super popular in the 70s. Right? Yeah. Okay, so there is a sticker on here that has since faded. You can't really read it anymore, but it. Um, I looked it up and the company is called New Designs Incorporated and they are a USA company. And yeah. Yeah, and she's super cute. She's $12. So she'd be cute in a red and white kitchen, wouldn't she? She would. Number 51. $12, number 51. She was definitely cute and she definitely is resin. Now I have a wine butler. This goes over your wine bottle to a glass on each side. Let me see if I can like that. You would have your wine glasses on each side. This one is $15 and it's number 34. Uh, I realized when I started out, I was talking about my one-year anniversary. I forgot one of the things that I'm including uh, as part of the live sales this, this month. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with my channel, you know I've got a thing for coasters, and I've kind of gotten, a, I've become known as being obsessed with coasters, whatever. Um, I don't, again, I don't feel having 18 coasters as a man who lives alone is a problem. But as part of my one-year anniversary, I actually created coasters. 
<laughs> so this is not uh, this is not an item specifically for sale, but these coasters have been custom made for me uh, with my logo holding up a holding up a drink. They're just little paper cardboard coasters for every order that ships out throughout this month. So all five live sales. If you order uh, order from me, you'll get one of these coasters for free. So I'll throw in one coaster for every order that goes out. So if you order all five weeks, you'll get five coasters. If you want to order the, uh, if you want to order them, you can order them. They're a dollar a piece. If I throw them into a box, if you want extras, or you can buy four mm -hmm. for five dollars, uh, would give you that includes the shipping uh, first class mail. So got my trusty coasters. So I wanted to mention that. But then I also have the real coasters that are actually up for sale. So this is what brought Michelle from Comfy Coats of Living. I should have held them longer because now she's going to go hang up. But these are uh, similar to the basket that uh, Fatbird Fines sold at their sale. I think it was last week or the week before. You've got this uh, rattan uh, look uh, wrapping on these coasters. They're in absolutely perfect condition. There are three butterflies as part of the set. Two of them yellow, one of them white. So you've got three parts that are all part of the original set. And you can see they're kind of see-through with like a lace insert behind them. But I'm including in it the fourth one, which has the exact same design on the outside. So it's you know made by the same company, but it's got a slightly different uh, appearance because it's an, uh, a Japanese uh, individual and it's a solid back. So it's still, it has that wooden um, backing. So basically we've got three butterflies and their keeper. So it's a set of four coasters. You can have that set of four coasters for $10 by giving me number 81. $10, 81 for the set of four boho coasters. Okay, Patrick, you're gonna have to say the information again about how I can buy a coaster because I want one of your coasters. Those are so cool. And I never win on your sales because my internet is terrible. Okay, so the winner on number three, the doilies was Ferns Fines. And my next item, I guess I'm not supposed to do this in order, am I? Oh boy, wow. Gotta, gotta get my live sale uh, legs underneath me tonight. It is this vase that I found at a thrift store recently. I think it's gorgeous. It's brown and like a white flower with blue centers. Looks hand painted to me. Um, it was uncertain what this uh, mark is. I don't know what the mark is, but someone thought maybe that says Peru. Don't really know, but I thought it was pretty, especially if you're doing traditional colors in your fall decor. It's $8 and I'll make it number 14. Since I already wrote four, I'm gonna add a one. There we go. Number 14. Awesome, okay, what do we have next? I think we've got something boho, Nick. This is kind of boho, yeah, right? I like it. We've got some baskets. We've got two baskets for you guys. Mm -hmm. So here's the smaller one. Just a typical little basket with a lid. And then there's a, a larger one. So check that out. You can have two baskets. You can put all of your treasures in there. That's right. Look, they're cute stacked up like that. They are. And for shipping purposes, they, they will stack. They don't exactly stack, but we can... Right we can put them together like this for shipping purposes. Right. But yeah, the, the lid doesn't quite go on there, but it will condense for shipping. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't know what, what would you put in there? I don't know. All kinds of things. <laughs> maybe, Snacks. <laughs> maybe yarn, maybe. I don't have any yarn. Jewelry. But I have snacks. <laughs> Nikki said snakes. Okay. What you got? <laughs> it's $16 for both of them. And it's number 69. $16, number 69. Oh my. Hello guys. In case you haven't, you don't know, Hemlock is in the chat doing all of my backup work. This is my next item. I can't even see it. It's a three tier tray. It is blue and green. It will condense for shipping. This three tier tray is $45 and it's number 37. I just saw somebody make one of those resin 
uh, three tier trays. And I thought of you, Laura, I was wondering if that was something that you tried. I don't know where you get all those little, the pieces to make the, the uh, spacers, but that's a great looking piece. Uh, the Boho coasters went to Kelly at Found Again. So congratulations, Kelly, for picking those up. Uh, and I also added into the chat how you can get the coasters. Um, but I will, I, you and I can chat later, Nicole. <laughs> All right, my next item, I, I feel like I am a failure in the reseller community, at least this reseller community, because I have now done you know over a dozen live sales and I've yet to ever have a fairy lamp. I still don't have a fairy lamp, but this is the closest I've ever come. So this is actually a Holly Hurricane that still, that still has the original box. It is lead crystal. It comes in two pieces. So you've got the base piece that would hold uh, that holds the candle holder itself, uh, but it could also probably hold a, a candle by itself. Uh, but then you've got the uh, hurricane portion sitting on the top, and then it comes with a little uh, peppermint uh, swirl tea light uh, that goes into there. So it is the closest I've ever come to a fairy lamp, but I don't think technically it counts as a fairy lamp because I think those are supposed to be covered at the top. So. This one is simply a, a candle holder. It is uh, a Christmas design. So you have the holly pattern uh, cut into the side. I mean, sure it's molded glass. You can feel a seam right there. So I said cut, it's just molded into the glass. It's in great condition, no chips, no cracks, and it still comes with the original box. So my fake, uh, my I, let's see, it would be uh, hurricane-esque. No, it would, uh, it would be a fairy lamp-esque uh, hurricane lamp is available for $12. $12 for the lamp with the box. I give me number 83, $12.83 for the Holly Help Hurricane lamp. You're not a failure, Patrick. I have also never uh, sold, found a fairy lamp. I did find the top half of one once at the bins and it was terribly cracked and awful, but that's the closest I've ever come. Okay, so next I have a table runner. It's shorter. I can measure it if you guys want to know, let's see. Um, I'm without all my assistants tonight. Molly went to college, Maddie's asleep, Chris is driving Hannah places, so it's me. Um, it's about 35 inches, I'm getting attacked by my um, tape measure. Anyway, it's really gorgeous. Um, the the embroidery, it's got like knots, and then I don't know if that's just embroidery or what, but it's really beautiful. The one flaw, the flaw on it is that the knots the black knots, you see them? Some of them are coming out. But other than that, the rest of the embroidery is in beautiful condition. And um, the back, you can see, they did not um, do this on a machine. They like hand stitched the edge of it. So really beautiful piece. I enjoy it. I have enjoyed it, but I thought, well, it's kind of time to let it go. It is ten dollars and it's number seventeen. Okay, so the winner of our last round for the baskets that was Joanne Baber. Thanks, Joanne. Thanks, Joanne. We appreciate it. Okay, our next item that we've got, we've got a little set of salt and pepper. Oh, these are really cute. Look at them. I like them a lot. Look how cute. They don't have any damage on them. No damage. They do still have their little stoppers. Yes. So look, they're plastic stoppers, so they're they're probably more like 70s kind of vintage. Whoops, not, that's upside down. Not this, mid century. Yeah, this one does have a Japan sticker. San Francisco counterpoint. Doesn't that look like 70s font? Right. There? <laughs> yeah. This one did have a sticker, but it is torn off. But they are just so cute. Hey, they're speckled. They are. They're little and they're speckled and they say Japan. Those are all your criteria. It is my criteria, but they're not Otagiri. <laughs> okay, they, Laura. They do look like it. It's true. What do we have? For okay, them? they're just nine dollars. Nine dollars. Nine dollars. And it's number sixty-two. Nine dollars. Number sixty-two. Okay. I have an organizer. It will hold nine little bottles or it also holds lipsticks these are twenty dollars and this is number 28. Uh, my last item the uh, 
the fairy lamp esque uh, crystal candle with box went to Lisa Carl. So congratulations, Lisa, for picking that up. Uh, my next item is also a uh, an, an attempt to um, avoid failure. I don't have a lot or slash any uh, vintage Halloween. Um, I might try and find something be you know within the next sale or two, but uh, really don't have a lot. So one of the things I do have is an orange colored planter. So I think this would look fantastic in a uh, Halloween or a fall vignette. Um, it is marked on the bottom as made in Germany. Anyone who knows uh, my household, German and Austria rule the roost. I will admit, I try to do a little bit of research. You can see in the uh, incised mark there, there's kind of another mark between the in and the Germany. It's not a W, so they weren't trying to squeeze in West Germany, but I don't know what that is. It looked like an S kind of with a K attached to it. Um, I don't know what that means. I did Google Lens, I did searches, I tried to see if there was such a thing as self Germany, my daughter laughed at me. Um, so I don't know what this is. I also don't know specifically its age, uh, but it is terracotta pot. It's not particularly heavy, so it won't be a problem to ship it, but it's in perfect condition. It's glazed on the inside and out, uh, it's just the bottom itself that is not glazed. Uh, so the German orange pot is $8. And you can have that by giving me number 96, $8.96 for the orange planter. Okay, in case I didn't say it, the doilies went to Ferns Fines, the brown vase, I know I didn't say this one, went to Carmen Zermino, Zermino, and the linen runner that I just showed went to Karen Radford. Sorry guys, I'm terrible at doing this by myself. Okay, um, the next thing I have is a piece of art glass I don't know a lot about it. It's beautiful. Um, it, it doesn't have that like thing on the bottom to show that it was like hand done. So I, honestly, I really don't know anything about this other than the fact that it's pretty. It's a little vase. It's got some weight to it. Um, you can see the glass is like swirled with like green and yellow. And I do not feel chips or cracks. The only thing I see in it is this little like it's in the glass, like a brown spot. Um, so who knows, maybe it was like a seconds or something, but this is $9 and it's number 19. Okay. So the winner that we had for our owl salt and pepper was Carrie KCATX. Thanks so much, Carrie. She gets ready just when she hears the word owl. It's true. She Thanks likes Carrie. <laughs> okay. Our next item is this really pretty piece of pottery. So I really like this. I know this is not really your jam. It's, it's not really, but it's it's really well done. It's really pretty. I just think that is so pretty. It's signed on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So uh, somebody put their little heart and soul into making that uh, vase. And I think it would be cute, of course, just as a vase for a centerpiece or something. But also, this is look how wide the top is. I think it'll be perfect on your countertop for all your wooden spoons and stuff like that. Yeah, I have two pieces of ceramic in my kitchen that I put my spatulas and wooden spoons and all that stuff in. Yes. I think I, this would be gorgeous. I just love that. And it's speckled, Mary Beth. It is. <laughs> but it does not say Japan. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Little studio pottery vase. Yes. It's $16. Oh, and it's number 53. Sixteen dollars, number fifty-three. Okay, I'm gonna go Halloween. This is a cell phone holder. Has a tombstone. Has two flowers. I'll show you how these work. You can set your phone like this or like this. Either way, these are not my phone. <laughs> these are twenty dollars. And this one is number 31. A uh, quick question for Laura Bemos. Um, with the items that you're selling, do you have more than one? So if more than one person claims it, can you provide more? I can, on certain ones, I have more than one tonight. Okay. Um, can I produce one that's exactly like the one you're seeing now? No. Why? Because resin is a beast. It'll never turn out the same. Can have the same colors. I can use the same inks, whatever. 
it, but it'll never be the same. All right, so keep that in mind for those who are bidding on or claiming her items. If you're not the first person, you might still be able to get another one. So go ahead and send an email to her and I'm sure Tania can help you in the chat. Uh, for my items, on my last, the German planter uh, went to Norma Jean plus one, uh, number 96. So thank you for picking that up, Jeannie. And also I mentioned Jeannie is one of the people who participated in my most recent collaboration, which went live today, celebrating my first anniversary. Trustees Vintage Firsts is a playlist on my channel. Uh, you can participate all month, play, post a video or go into Instagram with the hashtag Trustees Vintage Firsts and uh, talk about the first item you picked up for your collection, the first item you bought in a live sale, whatever your definition of first. I think the last time I checked, we had about a dozen videos had been posted into the collaboration. So I'm really excited and hope more people will participate. So uh, next item I've got is my, uh, my uh, homage to Fatbird Finds, uh, more specifically to Mama Lehman. I, I actually love uh, the Lehman store, which is Laura's mother's uh, antique store. I need to get down there again sometime. But not too long ago, maybe within the last couple of months, uh, she had had a collection of lobster ware. I don't know if that's a real term. I just made it up. So lobster ware uh, that basically was just a series of dishes that had full fledged red lobsters all you know formed throughout them as plates and serving pieces. And so when I found this little piece, I had to pick this up. I had to include it in this sale. So you've got what is probably simply a creamer but I would think because of the lobster on there, maybe it's a melted butter dish. It's not marked in any way. Uh, you can definitely tell it definitely has some age. Uh, the only thing of note to mark on the finish is as it was glazed, you can see there's a little part where there was a glaze flaw in the manufacturing process. It's not a nick or a chip or anything. It's just the way the glaze uh, took uh, to that portion. So it's undecorated on the back but it's all about the front because that's where the lobster is. So in honor of Fabric Finds and Mama Lehman, we've got the lobster creamer for $9. You can pick that up for giving number 79. $79, $9 for the lobster creamer. Yeah, you get right. All right, I forgot to say thank you for the uh, Holly Hob Hobby homage, Patrick. That was very cool. And those are very cute plaques. Uh, okay, my next item is a little hippo planter. I, I'm into these vintage baby planters, but my collection is getting too large. So, um, very cute. I mean, not, not in perfect shape. Not like, actually, it's really just kind of, it's been used as a planter, I think. And so the inside is for sure kind of dirty. I did clean it, but I don't know, maybe I can ma magic eraser it. But anyway, um, super cute if you are a collector of vintage or vintage planters. This is um, $6 and it's number nine. Okay, um, I okay. are you ready? I'm ready. We also have an homage to Patrick we for do. this round. We do. It's exciting. I think that's cute how you do that, Patrick. I agree. <laughs> it's coasters. It has to be coasters <laughs> if it's for Patrick. Where's all my Pennsylvanians Whoa. at? <laughs> yeah. Where's all my Pennsylvanians at? So I've got these coasters originally sealed in the package. You can see that they say 1968 up there in the masthead of this package. And they all have a little Amish horse and buggy. And they say Pennsylvania Dutch on them. So just little plastic coasters with the Amish horse and buggy. There's four of them in there, pink, kind of a, a light yellow color, blue and green. And I mean, they're new old stock, so they're, they've never been opened. Never I just think that's opened. fantastic. I agree. For that long ago. Yeah, 1968. Okay, so $10 for a, this pack of new old stock coasters, Pennsylvania Dutch, and it's number 54. $10, number 54. Okay, Patrick asked if I had more than one of some item. Here's one right here. I have three different phone grips. They are, you know, there's a name brand I can't mention. But here's three teal ones. First three, $10 a piece. And this is number 35. 
All right, and announcing my uh, last piece, the lobster creamer actually went fat bird fine. So I guess they really don't want the lobster wear to spread the spread uh, into other areas of the country. So uh, you will get a lobster creamer butter, melted butter dish ahead and head in Kentucky. Uh, the next item I picked up uh, ended up splitting off from a, a lot, uh, purchase of a, a group of items that were all vintage belt buckles. And it's, I picked it up specifically to be able to have some items to add to my eBay store because I'm really lacking in what I've been putting into eBay. Uh, and I thought that those would be kind of a, a fun addition. But I pulled out two of them that I thought maybe were more appropriate for a live sale because they, they are two identical buckles. I was about to say a pair. They're a pair in the sense that they're identical. They do not hook into each other. Uh, most likely what this had been, I picked these up from a vintage uh, what they do is they take old belts and turn them into cuff bracelets so they just lop off the the belt buckles and just keep the belt so most likely they must have had two of the exact same belt so i ended up with two of the exact same belt buckles they're really nice uh solid brass i do think there is some age to them but they're not marked in any way but they're both in great condition the you can see the way the clasp is for the actual belt uh, they're both in perfect condition, so they're both usable. These could end up going into a separate uh, craft project. You know, if you want to do a band and turn them into a pair, I think there'd be ways to do that. And I was thinking that this would be one of those things you could wrap around like a candle or a candle garden, that this would just be kind of cute with a band around that. And then you've got the butterfly uh, in front of it. But regardless, it is a pair of, um, it is a pair of belt buckles. You can get that pair for $7. Seven dollars for the two butterfly uh, belt buckles. I give me number ninety-four. Seven dollars ninety-four for the two belt buckles. Okay, uh, a little Christmas here. Any of my cardinal lovers are here. This is a little um, Christmas ornament. It's from. It says nineteen ninety-one National Renoff, made in China. It's got the little bottle brush tree and the cardinals are decorating the tree. Pretty cute. Um, yeah, not much else to say about it other than that. And it is, oh, let me get my little card. Wow, I'm terrible at this. Six dollars and it's number 11. Okay, did any of you guys see or miss our linen sale? <laughs> if so, you saw that we put together some like little mystery uh, bags of doilies. Yes. Right? Right. We've got one left over. That's right. It's exciting. It's pretty exciting. So unlike last time, I'm going to kind of show you quickly what's in here. Yes. And they, just in case that you bid and did not get a doily thing, this was just a fluke. This person just didn't, didn't want their doily. <laughs> right, so that's why we've got one left over. Yeah. Okay, we've got this one that's just a, like a standard size doily. Oh, we're going to show them this time. I'm going to show them not this time. A, It's not a mystery. This one is really cool. It I reminds like me of like peppermint swirls or something. I really like that one. This one is like coaster size, so that one's really small. We've got this one that is the yellow and green with the flowers in the middle. He's cute. And lastly, we've got this gorgeous lace table runner. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, that's a long one. That one's definitely big enough for your table. Yeah. Okay, so you've got five pieces. One, two, three, four, five pieces. Oh, boy. $12. $12. That's a bargain. All right. It's number 66. Number 66. Okay, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this piece. It is a tray. It has green, purple, and some clear in there. You'll see some blues. This one is $30, and it's number 30. All right, my last item, the two uh, butterfly belt buckles went to uh, Debbie from Chicago. So congratulations, Debbie. Uh, make sure that I will get those to you. Um, Debbie is uh, local to me, so we can avoid shipping, because I also will be picking up, Debbie's participating in, uh, she's giving some donations to the fundraiser I'm running in November 
uh, for the Just One More Docs and Rescue organization. So she's got some items that we'll be including in the fundraiser. So it'll be a good swap. Uh, so thank you for picking those up, Debbie. Uh, my next item is a piece of depression glass that I couldn't really find anything on. Um, it's a little handle dish with a ruffled rim. It's got the dolphin um, handles are put in there. Um, I was going to say it's in perfect condition, but as I held it up to the light, I'm trying to see. All right, there's a tiny flea bite right there, which I wasn't aware of, but I can only see it when I can see the light coming at me through the glass. When I hold it like this, I don't see it at all. So I do um, apologize for that because I don't tend to like to just carry anything with damage. Um, but I had priced it low to begin with because I think it's an attractive piece. I just don't know any of the history or the maker of it. I'm checking to see if anyone knows whose it is. Uh, but anyway, so it's a little blue, ice blue uh, depression glass dish for $10. And you can have it for $10 by giving me number 85. $10, 85 for the blue dish. You're muted, Nicole. <laughs> the worst okay so chris is back and reminding me to announce my winners um the hippo baby planner went to joanne barber and the cardinal ornament went to went to karen donnelly okay my next item it is um the four napkins it's a set of four linen napkins they are embroidered with a little black kind of cross stitch x there with purple flowers and a little blue and a little pink and uh, like lavender around the edge. There's four of them. They are not stained amazingly. And they kind of feel like someone washed them, pressed them, put them in their linen closet and there they stayed. So these are $8 for the set and they are number seven. And I neglected to make a card because I'm the worst number seven for $8. Okay, so on our last round, we've got Jamie, mid-century wasted on the bag of doilies. Yay, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Okay, we've got a really cute one for, for this next round. Okay. Right. Look at this little dog. Aww. He's like side-eyeing everybody. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> That's your little buddy that you found. <laughs> I love him. Look, he's so skeptical of everybody. He's like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> and he's fat. Oh, he is kind of chubby. So he does have a little bitty um, area that's cracked here at the bottom that you can see. But when you stand him up, obvious, obviously you can't, you can't see that. But he is so cute and he's so like retro kind of looking. I love him. He'll be your little best friend. <laughs> he's just $9. $9. And he's number 59. 59. I'm not sure what that dog's on. My next item is another cell phone holder. It is red with a mermaid tail and a rose on the front of it. Your cell phone goes like that or like that. These are $20 and this one is number 27. <laughs> I've had a request. This is Huck. <laughs> Huck is very heavy, and Huck will not be going to Maryland with me. But not, Huck is a nodder, so that's the Huckster Hound. He's having a grand old time. So, hello, Huck. And Huck is going to help me announce my last item. Went to the uh, the blue glass bowl, went to Pete's Repeats, and thanks for the quick research being done uh, in the chat. Uh, Lucid said it was Fenton, and I apologize if I didn't write down. Somebody else said it was um, Westmoreland. So there might be some places to jump off of uh, Pete's repeats to figure out whose it actually is. It's a beautiful piece, but hope you like it. Huck approves. All right. The uh, next item I've got, uh, it's the only one I can reach while I've got Huck in my lap. Um, Huck is chalkware, so he weighs about 20 pounds. Um, it is the first of what will be multiple uh, mystery boxes this evening. Uh, so these boxes, I will give full credit to Fatbird Finds. Uh, they kind of 
didn't invent the concept of a mystery box, but they invented the concept of having mystery boxes in their live sales. So we all agreed uh, that all four of the sellers this evening will have a mystery box. So this is mine. So this is the uh, size of the priority. It'll be shipped priority mail. Uh, there are multiple items in here uh, that when I add them up would sell for it well over $30 if I listed them individually. Uh, so I'm trying to give you a really good value for what you're getting since you don't know what you're getting, uh, $15. And I'll actually throw a pair of coasters into this one so you can start building up a set. Um, so this is my mystery box. It is $15 and you can have him have it by giving me number 82. 82, $15 for the trusty Huckster mystery box. You're muted again, Nicole. All right. Chris says I can't call myself the worst anymore, though. So. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm just terrible at long sales. Okay. So I have a Fire King a cup and saucer. I uh, love this pattern. I forget the name of it. I did know it at one time. But there are no chips or cracks. I'm just paring down my uh, collection. And so this little set is $6 and it's number 12 for the cup and saucer. I love that cup and saucer. I do too. That, I love Fire King anything. I think that's really cute. I know. I like it a lot. Okay. What was our last item? I've already forgotten. The little funny skeptical puppy. Oh yeah. CLC got that one. That's right. Thanks that's, Connie. Yeah, that's Connie. Right? Exciting. Thanks Connie. We've got a bank. A little piggy bank next. Oh, you're going to like this. This guy is funny. <laughs> so he's a gnome, first of all. That's your first impression probably when you saw him. <laughs> but he's got this shotgun. <laughs> and he's got this bunny. So I don't know what he's hunting for, but this bunny is safe. I was going to say, apparently it's not bunnies. <laughs> apparently not. Because the bunny is safe. He's he's doing fine right there. But this gnome, is he looks pretty um, under the influence as well. <laughs> But he's real happy about his shotgun and his bunny. And he is a bank. There is no money in here. I'm sorry about that. But he does have his stopper mm -hmm. on the bottom. He does have a sticker on the bottom made in Japan, as you can see, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's very cute. Very cute. He does have a little bit of, of paint chips there on the back of his hat. But other than that, I couldn't find any damage on him. And he's just adorable. Oh, I just love him. He is $11. There you go. $11. And he's number 57. Number 57. Here we go. I have an organizer again. This one is, you can see, blue, purple, and gold. Nine slots. This one is going to be... I can find my notes. Twenty dollars, and it's number thirty-three. All right, my last item. The mystery box was very popular, so there will be other mystery boxes coming up from the other sellers. Uh, but my mystery box goes to Helen Casey. So congratulations, Helen, for picking up my mystery box. All right, my next item is uh, pretty straightforward. Is a, a Hallmark mug. It says. Life is a song for the heart that is free. So you've got the musical uh, notes, the treble clef along the bottom, and then the notes uh, going off the top, turning into birds. It is an older uh, Hallmark in the sense that it was uh, still made in Japan. Um, so most likely 70s, 80s. Uh, it does have a zip code, so it's old. It's newer than 63. It's in fantastic condition. So I was a little surprised that it was made in Japan. I thought it would have been newer than that. Uh, so I don't know if Hallmark made in Japan later. Um, but it's a great uh, size mug, a traditional probably, I'd say it's probably a 10-inch um, mug. I can fit three fingers into the handle fairly easily. Um, and uh, great shape. No chips, no cracks, and it's mugs from hallmark so it's a six dollar mug so six dollars for the musical notes hallmark mug six dollars by giving me number 86 six dollars 86 for the mug okay the winner of the linen napkins was shirley pearl 
And the winner of the Fire King Cup and Saucer was Ferns Fines. Next up, I have a lovely plate. It says HMS Royal Hanover Germany is the mark. It's in very good condition. The gold around the edge looks great. And it's a beautiful fall motif with grapes and walnuts and fall leaves. So um, I used this in my fall decor last year, but you know, paring down and I did different colors this year, so I'm letting it go. It is $8 and it's number 10. Laura, I have a lamp. Yeah, we've never had a lamp before. We've never had a lamp before, but look at him. I'm gonna take the shade off really quick. Usually lamps are too big. Yes, but he is small. He appears to be kind of like a little nursery lamp. He's a little pink zebra. Oh, he's very well loved. Look, his yes. little paint is coming off in places. Yes, the paint is definitely coming off in places. It works. I'm yeah. going to put this shade back on so I don't blind everybody. But yeah, look at that. Oh, he's so cute. And the shade is just plain. It's just a little plain shade. So if you don't want it to make the shipping cheaper, if you'd rather pick up your own shade, you can just let us know when you email us. And this is not the original shade that came with the lamp. When we picked this up, it did not have a shade and we found this one. Yeah. So just so you know, you do not have to take the shade. Yeah. And I saw a couple of them sell on eBay for like $40. Mm -hmm. So I think that he is a bargain. You can have him for $16. $16. He's so cute. Keep looking at him. And he is number 55. Number 55. My next item is going to be Halloween. I have a keychain. It is a casket top with a pom pom. These are $10 and it's number 38. All right, my next item is a cautionary tale of to pay attention when you're holding something uh, over something breakable. So this was an item that was destined for my live sale all along because it is a piece of Royal Hager. I mentioned this frequently that Royal Hager was made not that far from me. So we come across Hager pieces all the time. Um, and so this was one I had not seen before. Uh, this was from an estate sale. It is marked with the R126A, so it's very easy to research. It came in a number of different a variety of glazes. Uh, this one is coming maybe a little bit bluer on the screen than in real life. In real life, it's probably got a little bit more of a green tint to it. But as I was literally prepping for this sale, my pen fell onto the edge of the plate, and there is now a tiny little chip right there on the edge. So it is still destined for the live sale, but is now destined for the live sale at less than half of what I would have sold it for had it stayed in pristine condition. So you can pick this one up with that little bit of damage. It's not really noticeable. If you hold it up, you don't really see it, but it is there. Uh, so I want to disclose it. So you can get it for six bucks. So six bucks for a piece of Royal Hager with a slight bit of damage. You can have it for number 93, $6.93 for the Royal Hager. That is a beautiful piece, even with its chip, Patrick. Okay, next up, Little Christmas. This is a crocheted Christmas stocking. It does say Adam on it. However, that is added afterwards. Very easy to remove. And I just thought it was adorable. It is $5, number 15. It's an Afghan stocking. I love it. That's so cute. That was awesome. We love Afghans. <laughs> Okay, our last round, the lamp. Laura, who got the lamp? Let's see. Joanne Faber. Joanne Faber. Thanks, Joanne. Thanks, Joanne. Okay, next we've got a two-for-one planter. <laughs> That's intriguing. Look. Aw. They're like the best of friends. Is that a little so puppy? Do you think they're Scotties? I think so. They're very cute. And you can put two little succulents here. Or two little whatever. Air plants. Yeah. <laughs> As Misty would say, right? He does have a little bit of wear to the bottom. Um, there, that might be a chip right here, but it's it's very hard to tell because the bottom is pretty worn. Somebody said schnauzer. Maybe they are schnauzers. They're very cute. 
whatever their breed is. They could be <laughs> mutts, but they're still very cute. And you can hold two plants instead of one. I know. It's twice the fun. Double the fun. <laughs> so it's just $12 for these little cuties. $12 and it's number 68. $12, number 68. Though I have a different type of cell phone holder. This one breaks down into two pieces. And what you do is you put it through like that. This is where you set your phone. Now mine has a pop socket on it. So I can put it in the groove right here. And it sits just fine. If you have anything thicker, it's probably not going to work. If you have a huge case on it. These aren't extended enough, but if you don't have a case or you have a thin case or a pop socket, it will work just fine. All right? This one is fifteen dollars, and it's number thirty-six. All right, my last item, the Royal Hager plate, uh, went to Hemlock Lady Mercantile. So congratulations to Nia uh, for picking that up. Uh, my next item is I'm dropping a couple of Christmassy items in, and I'm not sure this necessarily technically has to be Christmas. Uh, it's part of the, it's the uh, Margaret Furlong collection. Uh, so this is a boxed set of ornaments and the, it comes with a little pamphlet that shows what was available. This is the 2000 collection, this collection from the year 2000. Uh, and it does primarily, these are all the angels, but then they also do have the ornaments as well. And you can see one of them is on there, it comes with the original note card, and then it comes with the ornaments still kind of locked into the position with the way they were sold. Now the box itself has had uh, some seen some better days. It was probably shoved into storage somewhere. So the box has a little bit of tear on the corner. It's been crushed a little bit, but the four ornaments, whether they're for Christmas or just for regular decoration, uh, are still in pristine condition. So you've got the, uh, the kind of uh, bisque porcelain with the floral relief design, and then the little ribbon uh, with the piercing going all the way around all four of them. So they are four identical. That is how they were sold. They still have, again, the box, the Margaret Furlong box with the year on there that they are from the year 2000. So this appears to be a thing. People collected these and they were done annually. So this is the 2000 um, ornament collection and you can get the entire box set of ornaments. So all four of the ornaments for $12 in the box for number 87, $12.87 for the box of Margaret for long ornaments. Okay, next I have a vintage book. It's called Play and Grow Clocks. It's in great condition. So it says copyright 1978 by the Holder Coffee Company. So I don't know if it's the kind of thing where like you had to save your, I don't know, coffee labels and send them in or something, but it was in some way connected to the Folder Coffee Company. Um, it's all about clocks and how they tell time for you. And then each one has like hands that move and super cute. So the hands, like as you turn the page, you still see the hands through the cutout. The vintage clocks book is five dollars, and it's number five. Five dollars, number five. I love vintage books. That was so cute. I love it. Okay, our last item, which was the dual planter with the dogs, that went to CLC. Thanks, Connie. Thanks, Connie. Okay. We've got a we've got a big favorite coming up next. Uh -huh. Everybody loves this stuff, right? Okay, so we've Me got included. we've got a piece of uranium glass, and this piece is special because it has some other criteria. Look how pretty that is. So not only is it uranium glass, it's also Vaseline glass. More specifically, it's canary yellow, and it's got this really pretty custard uh, yeah. rim on it. Okay, so. It's, it looks like it's a, you pour from it, but obviously if you tried to put anything in there, it would all fall out. So it's like a nappy. A nappy. <laughs> like a bonbon dish. Yeah. <laughs> or a candy dish. Laura, you can put does your anybody, bonbons in yeah, there. Yeah, does anybody really eat bonbons? I don't know, but this is a gorgeous <laughs> piece 
of I, uranium you, glass. You should, if you do eat bonbons, you should eat them out of this because it's really adorable. <laughs> and this glows very nicely. It's very pretty. I've got a spotlight on me and it's still glowing. Yeah, look how bright that is. Yeah. Gorgeous. Some of them don't glow as much as others, and this one definitely does. Yeah, at Vinny Cell we had that pretty goblet, and this is like that. Yes. And um, What are these on eBay for? So those, I, there's several of those on eBay, like in the $35 range. Yes. Something similar. Nothing, nothing just like it. But right? we're going to give you a bargain. Right. So... We're going to let this one go for $24, mm -hmm. but it's a special piece. Look at that. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's very unique. You don't see these every day. Yep. $24, and it's number 63. Well, Fat Bird Finds isn't the only people that can make things glow. This is a trinket box. There's the inside. This will glow. All you got to do is charge it up. If you leave it out on a windowsill, it'll charge. And there you go. So this one is $10, number 32. All right, my last item, the set of four ornaments went to Shirley Pearl. So congratulations, Shirley, for picking those up. Uh, my next item is, I like to do these every once in a while, kind of created an instant collection. Uh, so what these are is a series of butter pats. So we've got a Wellesley China butter pat in perfect condition, blue rose with the vines and the gold trim. We have a you know, uh, older piece from Johnson Brothers England. This one does have a flea bite right along the edge that doesn't appear if you look at it from the front, but you can see it from the bottom. Uh, another piece is not marked, but based on the design of that. This is probably a European or Eastern European from around 1910. This is getting into that secessionist movement look. Uh, beautiful piece. I almost kept it for myself, but I do not need to start another collection. And a Austrian porcelain. Yes, again, I'm letting something from Austria leave. Uh, this one is a slightly larger than some of the other ones and it has the ruffled uh, edge. So these are butter pats as opposed to coasters, uh, although this one's getting close enough that the flat surface might be large enough to hold a narrow bottomed uh, glass. The rest of these are definitely butter pats. So it's a collection of four. So the Austrian, most likely Austrian or Bavarian, the English and the Actually, I can't remember where the Wellesley China was made. Made in, looks like it says made in Japan. No. I'm blind. I can't read it. So anyway, Wellesley China. Um, so the four pieces, your instant collection of butter pats. You can have all four of them for $16. $16 for the four antique butter pats. I give me number 77. $16, 77 for the set of butter pats. Okay, next up is a set of salt and pepper shakers. I'm told that they used to have meowers, but they no longer do. They're in really good shape. Uh, I don't see like really chips or cracks, other than the fact that someone has removed the meowers and replaced it with like cardboard. So the set of black cat salt and pepper shakers is $6 and it's number six. Okay, so on our last um, round, it was the uranium glass, mm -hmm. and that went to Connie Ansley. Mm -hmm. And I did have a question in the comments about who that went to, and I did want to show you that on my phone, on my end, that I did have Connie Ansley as the winner. So oftentimes you're going to see yourself show up first um, as the winner of something, and that's almost always the case. You mm -hmm. almost always look first on your feed. So just to put that out there. That's right. Thank you, Connie Ansley. Okay, we've got we've had a couple of dogs, so now we've got a couple of cats. Got to got to have equal time for the cat. Exactly. So lots of people love to collect um, the little white and blue figurines. Mm -hmm. So we've got a couple of cats here playing with little balls, and they're so sweet. I love those. Look how they're cute. Their faces are. <laughs> They're so cute. So I think that this one originally had a stamp on the bottom. It has since worn. 
It appears that that might be some foreign lettering. I'm not positive. Can't make that out, but I would assume Japan. Yeah, and I, I love those. I like the size of them because when you're doing your little shelf vignettes or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. you're decorating your shelves of your blue and white stuff, it's really hard to have something little to go, you know, you have all these big tall vases or plates, and these are really cute because they're little. And then also you can set them on a book, and yeah. they're really cute on a book like that. Definitely. So I like the size of those. Yeah. So you can buy both of these for $9. Two for nine. $9. And they're number 61. I always like it when you give time to cats, considering I have four. I have a, another set of coasters. These actually go out into a geode pattern, which there's no way I'm going to be able to hold all four. But these are $15, and it's number 42. All right, for my next item, I have my homage to Laura Bemos. So I had to go raid my uh, my vintage booth, which I just recently set up, and grab one of the items that actually just went into it. And if you've seen my sales before, it will look familiar. It is the bridge set uh, that I had the match to this. I uh, went into the bargain bin, I think last week or the week before, because I had two versions of this. One of them was complete and one of them was not. This is the complete one. So this one had, was originally going to be sold in my booth, uh, but I wanted to pull this out, the bridge set, uh, because it had the cards in it, because Laura Bemos collects cards and hopefully will be doing a deep dive with me on uh, vintage playing cards. And then to go along with that, I had picked up these additional pieces, which were uh, a very, this is, this is also maybe an homage to Mary Beth of this graphic designer should be fired because they created a parrot cover of a score pad and then the hole went through the parrot's head. So I'm slightly disturbed by that. Um, but uh, the artist is Kevin Torline. So you can just you know go ridicule him openly. Uh, so anyway, so you've got a set of the bridge uh, scorecards a pad. And then you also have still new old stock sealed uh, two and three table bridge tallies, which also have uh, parrots uh, on them. So you've got the parrot themed bridge tallies in the scorecard and the cat themed cards to attack and eat the birds. So you've got a mix of bridge sets, uh, cats and birds, uh, world is ending. Uh, so we've got $10 for the full set of everything. And that can be had by giving me number 98, 98 for the bridge set with the tally cards. That's funny, the, the headless parrot. Okay, I have a Gemco sugar dispenser. Uh, the pattern, I don't remember the name of it, but it is like white flowers with blue leaves. It's in very good shape. I don't feel any chips or cracks. Let's check the rim. I'm not sure it was used because it was very clean when I found it. Oh, and I'll say, oh, the salt, the cat salt and pepper shaker goes to Joanne Barber. And then, okay, back to the Gemco Sugar Dispenser. Uh, it is $6, number 10. $6, number 10, there we go. <laughs> okay, so on our last round, we had the two little cats. Mm -hmm. Those are going to Reclaimed measure, Treasures by Mary. Yeah, thank you so Thanks, much. Mary. Okay, next, I've got some brass. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was a mystery box. No, it isn't. Not yet. Who remembers home interiors? <laughs> so some of that stuff can be kind of, uh-oh. But this is kind of cool. It's all coming back, folks. The brass. All the home interiors. The brass is making a comeback. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? I love that. It's so cute. Okay, so it's got the butterflies on it. There was the a flowers. day that I would not have thought that that was cute. But that's so Boho, coming back in style. It's making a comeback, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, not only do you get the the brass, but it's in its original home interior box. That's what I think is really neat. Yeah. This comes in the original box. Yeah, this was never used. And um, 
you know, you guys know, you can put greenery in there. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, just any way you want to decorate it. It actually had its greenery on it, and we threw it away because it was kind of tacky looking. <laughs> it was very plasticky. You could get better greenery. Yes. So, yeah, we're just going to sell you the brass here with the butterflies. Okay. So, you guys ready? It's $20 for that little cutie. Mm -hmm. $20, and it's number 67. Number 67. My mom had home interiors all over the place. I have another organizer here. This one is copper and clear on top. These are $20. And this one is number 39. All right. My last item, the bridge set and the headless uh, bridge card. Uh, bird headless bird bridge set went to uh, Karen Dondelinger. So congratulations, Karen, for picking that up. Uh, so since I had the headless birds in the last one, I'm giving you a fully headed bird in this one. Uh, this is probably my one of my favorite. There's two favorites right now, but this is one of my favorite pieces that I'm offering in the sale. It is a very uh, nicely sized, you can tell how tall it is, um, piece of mid-century modern California pottery. It's stamped Rose Lane, uh, Pasadena, California. I did quite a bit of research on this one, uh, trying to figure out, you know, basically what I had. And there are uh, a couple variations of this. I am saying that he is a peacock. Uh, Kelly Ann, you can challenge me on this. Um, that the way he's painted is not designed to be the peacock, but I think with that crest, that makes him the peacock and not a pheasant. And I don't think pheasants have tails like that anyway. Uh, but the company did both pheasants and peacocks, and they did two styles of peacocks. But I did find this one. Other people claimed it as a, as a peacock as well. So I think it's a peacock. Um, but Rose Lane, Pasadena, it is, I should have measured it before, so I'm measuring it really quick right now. It is 13 inches tall. He's in absolutely perfect condition. No chips, no cracks. The glaze is coming off pretty, pretty much true to color. It's a beige with a brown overcoat to it. Uh, and again, with the Rose Lane stamp. So the Rose Lane California Pottery, Pasadena, California, uh, is available for $25. $25 for the Peacock, giving me number 91. 91, $25 for the Peacock bird with a head. I love the Peacock. I also love that it's from Pasadena because of Big Bang Theory. Okay, the winner on number 10, the Gemco Sugar thing is Karen Radford. Okay. And this is my uh, failure from my last live sale. Someone bid on it and then never contacted me. So I'm selling it again. I do love it. And I was like, well, maybe I should keep it. But if I, I can't keep everything. So anyway, um, here's a little plate. It has a cottage theme on it. Um, it's got gold around the edges. I, my impression that it, it is signed. It says D. Heisler. My impression is that perhaps this is like a hobbyist piece because you can see um, she's kind of messy with her gold paint and you don't really see that on the higher end hand painted pieces. But it is very pretty. It has like a light sage green around the edges. This is $6 and it's number eight. $6, number eight. Okay, so on the last round, um, the home interiors that went to found again, mm -hmm. and that was just one. It was just the one wall hanging. I've seen several comments asking how many were in there. It was just the one. Mm -hmm. Okay, next thing that we've got. Thank you, found again. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. We have got a 1933 edition of House and Garden. I love this. We found this out at the Traders Mall, and um, I showed it one night on Flipping and Sipping because it's just – Super, super, super neat. Look how glamorous she is. <laughs> so as you can see, the cover has been taped. This is nearly 100 years old. So we'll yeah. forgive <laughs> we'll forgive the magazine for being taped. And when you look them up on eBay, uh, I don't know if that month is on eBay, but plenty from that year are on there for $35 and $40. Yeah. I mean, it's just spectacular to get that kind of uh, graphics and everything. And like these kitchen layouts in here and these homes on the inside. And the great part about this being taped 
is someone's already messed it up. So you wouldn't have to feel bad about destroying the, the magazine to use, you know, for your art projects to frame a couple of pages, you know, that kind of thing. Look at that. Look at this color spread in here. <laughs> Look at that living room. Look it's, how fancy. It's really kind of so modern. You know what I mean? For 1933. It's, right? It's just such a cool um, Art Deco kind of oh, yeah. kind of vibe. I love it. And it's got all these really cool ads, black and white j drawings and things. It's just really cool. Yep. So let's see here. I've got it in my hand. So we're going to let you have that for $12. $12. And... I mean, like I said, you could frame a couple of pages out of that and it, you know, be just adorable. Yes. So $12, number 70. Oh, Laura, you might be frozen. Not hearing you and I'm not seeing you. All right, you may need to back out of the chat and come back in. All right, so we will just, I uh, will jump to me and we'll try and catch up to, uh, we'll try and catch up to Laura um, so that we each have the same number of items. So my last item was the large peacock that went to Joanne Baber. And then I also had uh, Katie from Vintage and Vinyl claim the butter pats because uh, those initially had not sold. Uh, and she recognized that and she picked those up. So thank you very much, Katie, for picking those up. Um, so my next item, I'm bringing in some Christmas again. I might do a holiday sale maybe in November, um, but I've got enough things that I started you know, mixing some things in. So this is a pair of Luminarch, uh, the uh, Luminarch clear glass coffee mugs. They've got uh, the Santa painted all the way around with the red background. They're in great condition. All of the paint is in really good condition, not chipped, you know, no, no missing paint on both of them, no chips or cracks, they're totally functional, totally usable. They are marked Luminarch, so you do have you know, the, their maker. Uh, so it's a pair of the Luminarch mugs, probably I'm gonna guess from the 80s, uh, just based on the graphic appearance, maybe 90s, but uh, in that general era. So the Luminarch, pair of Luminarch mugs, the Santa mugs are $9, and you can do that by giving me number 92, $9.92. And I'm gonna uh, jump over, Nicole, I'm gonna bring uh, Laura back in and let her uh, do the item that we missed. Sorry, I guess my internet decided to freeze me up. I have got three of these. They are the foam grips. These are a little bit thinner because they're made with a uh, different type of mold and they're made with uh, mica powder. So they are a coppery, a reddish copper color. These are $10. I have for the first three people, number 41. So now we'll go back in order. You're muted, Nicole. <laughs> We've all been there. We've done it. Um, what I was saying while I was muting, muted is that, Laura, I love those. And I also forgot to tell you that I love your green tiered tray that you sold earlier. I think that was gorgeous. Okay, moving on. Um, I have this piece. It is California pottery with um, condition issues. It has two chips in it, one here on the edge and one here on the leaf. I love the color. You know I love this color, but I am trying to thin my collections because I'm kind of focusing in on some other things. But because of the condition issues, it's $5, number four. Oh, and here's the mark. I love that. <laughs> we were just sitting here. Going, I was like, oh my I God. I really like that. I was trying to see how I could bid on that. <laughs> That's really pretty. Somebody just put in the comment, did the magazine sell? Yes. So that was our last <laughs> item. And Michelle Ann, you were the first person to type in the number 70. So, Jamie. So I you know, know that's what you meant, but <laughs> I guess we don't want to start a trend of people putting just the first digit. Of right. This. It's, it's got to be the first person. <laughs> okay, so our next item is actually a set of four little dessert plates. Those were really cute. I love these. It's got this really pretty sun, like starbursty sun design on there. 
The backs of them say made in Japan. And there are four of these. Yeah, and they're they're all in really good shape. Oh yeah, no chips or cracks. And really, I think with a pretty red and orange, it, it could go in your summer decor, but it could also really kind of go in your fall decor too, really. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I like the size of those for, like up in my hutch, I don't ever have room for big, I mean, usually plates are too big. Right. Yeah. Okay. These are a perfect size for like a little dessert. Okay, so all the whole set of those is $12, and that's number 60. Okay, I have a keychain. It is the stemless wine glass. It is a copper color. The fur ball is brown. These are $10. And this one is going to be number 40. 4040. All right, my last item the pair of Santa mugs went to Lynn Hampton. So, congratulations, Lynn, for picking those up. Uh, this next item happens to be a case where I actually have two of this item. So this can go to the first two people uh, that want to claim it. Uh, it is an eight inch tall ceramic stein. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the age. I got conflicting information when I did the research. It is stamped on the back, on the bottom, Ceramart made in Brazil. So it's not super old, um, but it's also not necessarily, it's not really recent either. Um, so the piece itself has this really pretty cobalt background. You can tell how much higher gloss the glaze is to the background of the Anheuser-Busch logo. The rest of it is a, is a very a pretty matted brown color. It has Anheuser-Busch at the top. It says uh, St. Louis, Missouri on either side. And then the world's largest and the world's renowned World's largest what? I'm not really sure, <laughs> but it's got an imprint of the factory and it's got the old world German uh, beer kegs and beer steins. So it's a traditional deer stein. It's got the Clydesdales running across the bottom. Both mugs are in absolutely perfect condition. No chips, no cracks. Great decorative pieces, but they are fully glazed on the inside, so it would be functional as well. Uh, so one of the steins is $9. Again, two are available, but you're buying one. Uh, a single Stein is $9 and you can have it by giving me 84. And the first two people to claim number 84 will each receive the Stein. Okay, the winner on the cottage plate was Pete's Repeats, which I love your name by the way. Pete's Repeats won the cottage plate and the California Pottery went to Crafty Jackie. Okay, and next I have not a vintage piece. It's modern, uh, but it's really pretty if you're into farmhouse. I am just paring down. I have a problem buying uh, white pictures. I'm trying to get the white. Kind of harsh, but, um, you can see the design on it. Oh, there we go. That's better. So it's made to look aged. has a pretty detail around the edge. It does not have chips or cracks, but it does have like, I don't know, like, wax it has scuff marks i guess and then this little this is under the glaze it's completely smooth you can kind of see there's another little mark there but it's not um, anything that you can feel so this little white pitcher is number 13 and it's number I mean, six dollars number 13. i want that white pitcher. wait i didn't i wasn't unmuted yet i don't think she heard you <laughs> Oh, I want the white pitcher. I'm sure I'm too late for it. That's adorable. Okay, so on our last item, it did not sell, but the number on it was 60, and Lisa Carl put in the number six. So, Lisa, I'm not sure if you meant to bid on that or if you were punking me, but <laughs> if you did want those plates, be sure to put in the number 60 in the chat so that I can mark you down for that. And if you didn't, that was really pretty funny. <laughs> That was pretty hilarious. Okay, so our next item is this gorgeous bowl with these daffodils. Yeah, I love this bowl. You know, we talked about, uh, we've talked about RS Prussia and RS Germany mm -hmm. on here before. This one's RS Germany. It is. And, I mean, Mary Beth used to, those bowls would be so, uh, so high priced. Right. I mean, this kind of bowl used to sell, you know, more in the, 30 and $40 range right. at least. 
Um, but, you know, people's taste change and everything, but I think there's still some collectors out there, and I just think it's a beautiful bowl. Yes. Hello? <laughs> it was a joke. We're getting punked again. Uh-huh. So, anyway, we will give you guys an opportunity to have this beautiful RS Germany bowl. Did you show the market on the bottom? I did. I'll show it again. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry. Yeah. You call these March flowers, right? I call these Easter flowers. I call... Okay. You call them daffodils. Daffodils and March flowers. Whatever you call them, they're pretty. <laughs> And for they're for sixteen dollars for the bowl. Okay, and it's number sixty-five. Number sixty-five. There for a minute, I thought it was my internet going out again. All right, I have another organizer. This one is a green with a cream color mixed into it. This one is twenty dollars. And it is number 45. All right. My last item were the uh, Anheuser-Busch Steins. And uh, both were claimed uh, by Carolina Lady and by Stacey Brinkley. So congratulations, both of you, for picking those up. Uh, my next item was originally set aside uh, to be my homage piece to Katie from Vintage and Vinyl uh, because I believe she is the only reseller I have from the state of Florida that's going to be on my show. But I have a lot of things from the state of Florida. So this ended up, I don't know how I ended up with so many freaking birds, um, but I, it's bird night in the trusty household. And so we've got another piece uh, that says Florida that actually what I really liked about this one is it is stamped. It's made, it's uh, American made gifts, F R E D. It says Fred, but it's, there's a period after each uh, from St. Petersburg, Florida. So it's a souvenir piece, a kitschy, you know, souvenir piece that has the Florida um, sign on it, but the two birds are actually pottery. And you can see the glazing done on each of them are absolutely beautiful. So there was some really nice detail. This was not, I would say, not like an airport or, you know, along the side of the road, uh, kitschy uh, piece. It's the, these, these pieces of pottery are very nicely attached. You don't even see the way that they're adhered to it. There's the rope on the, on the piers. It is stapled into place, but it's on the back. So they had to attach it somehow. Um, so you just have this kind of really cool, this really cool piece. Overall, it is about a little, over, a little over seven inches tall. It's in perfect condition. There's no chips or cracks in any of the pottery, and the rest of it's all in great condition. There's a little gravel uh, glued into the bottom. So you just got this kitschy little Florida piece, uh, which I absolutely love because of those pottery birds. Uh, but you get the little kitschy Florida piece for $12 by giving me number 89, $12.89 for the uh, pottery birds. Okay, the white pitcher went to Melissa Roy. Okay, next up, I have a set of, I never know how to say the name, Dar, D-A-H-E-R. Now, they're not truly a set because they're very similar to one another, but I wouldn't say that they're truly matching. One is smaller than the other. They both have a hinged lid. However, the smaller one, the hinge, one side of the hinge is detached. Um, you can kind of see that. So it just kind of sets in there. And that's the inside of this one. And then this one is still attached. Ooh. I don't want to pull the wrong side. Okay. So that one is really clean. So for the set of two tins, it is $9 and it's number 18. Set of two, $9, number 18. Or what was the last thing? I'm so confused. Oh, my gosh. It was the daffodils. The daffodils. Karen Radford. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Karen. That was sweet. You said that reminded you of your, remind you of your mom. So I, that's sweet. I love that. <laughs> and Nicole, that is so funny that I can't say that word either. Especially dar. With, especially with our accent. Dar. Dar. <laughs> dar. Laura oh, really kidding. struggles with that. <laughs> I really do. Okay. Patrick, we've got a bird, too. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Isn't he pretty? Hey, Michelle. Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living. 
Are you still listening? She's probably left us. <laughs> Get one of your bird books out. She collects those bird guides. Get one out and tell us what kind of bird this is. Those of you who are bird people, you may know what this bird is. He's got some red underneath his chin on his belly. We were guessing tanager. I think it might be a tanager, but that may be very wrong. <laughs> but anyway, the, the base of this, this reminds me of Royal Copley. Like the style, the way this base is styled. This, I do not think this is Royal Copley, but it reminds me of the style of Royal Copley. Yes, and there, but it's not marked at all. No, there's no mark. Um, I can attest for this, this bird's age because this did belong to my grandmother, and she's had this for as long as I can remember. Aww. So all of these little types of things that she had in her house were mid-century. So, yeah. Very cute. Somebody say an Oriole. I don't think it's an Oriole, but... I think Orioles are more black and orange. This one is yellow with black and he's got little red under his chin. <laughs> Michelle says I'm on it. <laughs> well, maybe we, it may be sold by the time that you get that, but. <laughs> okay. So what have you got, Laura? Okay. I... Oh, no chips or cracks on this one. No, no. But, he's so pretty. But there is a little bit of crazing, which I'm not sure if you can see. I happen to love that. So, <laughs> and plus that's going to give me a heart attack to try to ship that, but. <laughs> We did get Jeffrey's flamingo with his wings up to him without breaking it. So sure. I, I feel confident. Oh, good. I feel like we could do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So $14 for the pretty little yellow bird of whatever his name is. <laughs> and he is number 58. $14, number 58. Nicole, those are stash boxes where I come from. And Patrick, you do have another Florida person, Tania. Hemlock Lady is from Florida. So what I have now is another cell phone holder, mermaid tail. It's got some shells in front. Works just like this or like that. It is going to be $20 and it's number 43, 43. All right, my last item was my uh, Florida pottery birds and those went to Kendra Joe. So thank you, Kendra, for picking those up. I mentioned earlier um, with the peacock that that was one of my favorite pieces. The other one is this one. It is a large uh, bowl, but I would say a decorative bowl as opposed to a serving bowl. And you can see it has the koi fish uh, design in it. If I hold it just right, you can kind of see there's a texture in the porcelain that gives it kind of like almost like a grid effect. I saw it earlier. Now, of course, I can't recreate how I got it. You can kind of see it toward the top. You can see the way the lights are going off of it. That goes through the entire piece. Uh, there we go. You can see it's got that texturized uh, porcelain technique all the way through it. The rim is a silver rim. Um, I'm not going to say it's platinum because I have no idea, uh, but it's definitely a silver slash platinum. Uh, it's not tarnished, so I'll just leave leave it there, but I have no way of knowing exactly what kind of metal uh, that edge is, but it has not been polished since uh, since I've gotten it, and it's uh, pretty bright. And it does have the Japanese signature on the bottom, but it also still has the original paper Japan label on it. So it's an absolutely beautiful piece. It is, there's no chips, no cracks, uh, no crazing. It is a little over, about, t about 10 and a quarter inch uh, diameter all the way across. So it's a pretty good size bowl, a uh, great piece, and it is available for 20 bucks. $20 for the koi fish uh, porcelain bowl by giving me number 97. $20, 97 for the koi fish. Okay, next up is my mystery box. So what I plan to do with this is- I'm sorry, can I interrupt you, Nicole? So uh, this is the last yes, round. please do. No, and I, I, I had so no to like, say oh, it, and I totally missed it. So for those of you who've been following along, we have 20 items. We've done 19. This is the last. So each one of us has one item left. Uh, but what I offered all of the resellers to be able to do is if there's anything that didn't sell to just, we have a lot more people watching now than we're watching at the beginning of the sale. So if there's a couple things you want to showcase, feel free to do that. I was supposed to announce it and I forgot. So this is the last round. We each have one item plus highlights of what did not sell. So here's Nicole again. Okay. All right. 
Okay, one of my non-selling items was a vintage candy tin. It says Macintosh's Quality Street Chocolates and Toffees. Uh, that was uh, number two, and it was six dollars. And then, um, um, I'm good with everything else. I'm just gonna donate it. <laughs> okay, the last item I'm going to sell though is a mystery box. And um, I am going to fill this with what I'm thinking is like vintage linens and like kind of a fall vignette. That's what I'm thinking. So with some vintage items, possibly a modern item or two. And um, so the value here, I, I'm gonna charge $8 for my box. The value will be more than that. But that's what I'm gonna do with this $8 on my mystery box. And the number will be 20. 20 for my mystery box, $8. Hey everybody. Okay, so on our last item, what was it? Do you remember Laura? I don't remember. The yellow bird. Oh yeah, the yellow bird. It yeah. was uh, Michelle, right? That's Michelle right. Ann. Thanks, Michelle. We appreciate it. Okay, so we've got a few items here that have not sold, but first I'm going to give a shameless plug. Sorry, Patrick. Tomorrow night we do a flipping and sipping where we sell five items. So if you guys want to come over and buy any of our five items that we sell tomorrow night, we will combine shipping. Oh, that's a good thought. I from this sale and tomorrow's five items. If, if you are a repeat buyer, we will do that for you. We won't even do invoices till after Friday. So. Exactly. Okay. So the first item that we have that did not sell was this set of four dessert plates. Now somebody did put in the number six, <laughs> but I don't know if they were punking me or not. So if you want these, you do need to put in 60 and a set of four of these are $12, number 60. Okay. The next one that I'm going to show is this little gnome. Okay. He's really cute. He's oh. a piggy bank. He That's does have he, is. he does have his original stopper and he is marked Japan. Mm -hmm. He is number fifty seven and he is eleven dollars. Mm -hmm. And then this was one of the very first items that we showed. This was like in uh, support of Laura Bemos <laughs> with her um, resin. resin art. Yeah, so this is like a little. Kind of like a Sunbonnet Sue slash Prairie Bonnet Girl slash Holly Hobby. <laughs> Get them all in there. Exactly. Yeah. But she's a napkin holder. Turn her sideways. So you can put letters in there or your napkins. I think that's so sweet. So cute. Okay. So she is number 51 and she was $12. Number 51, $12. And then we're going to do our last item of the night. That's right. Which is also... A mystery box. A mystery box. There's my question mark. You me. guys, I have uh, been hard at work <laughs> from last week. Laura's the mystery Maddie. boxes. So, yet yeah, I am in mystery box mode. This one is really good because I've just got a. I've, I've just got a second wind. Exactly. I'm like all for it. I may have like found a couple of little personal restaurant creamers. Don't tell them what's in there. Okay, guys. So. This mystery box is $15. Yep. And here it is, number 56. $15, number 56. And thank you again, Patrick, for having us. Auntie Christy opened her box. Yay! <laughs> okay, guys. I have two items that I'm going to do. One is my mystery. It's going to be a bag. It might turn into a box. You never know. This one is $15, number 46. Now, you guys thought I was going to go all sale without dominoes? Here they are. This is the set of dominoes that you saw that I poured just the other day. These are $45, and it's number 44.
All right, my last item, the koi plate went to, the koi bowl went to Melinda McBride. Uh, so congratulations, Melinda. Your name I think is new to me. So just make sure you send me your shipping address uh, to the email address that's going across the bottom of the screen uh, and I will get you an invoice. I did have two items that did not sell. Uh, one of these was fairly early on. This was my homage to Nicole Northgarden. So my uh, Holly Hobby-esque um, wall plaques, the little boy and the dog and the little girl and the cat. Um, they have the holes set for hanging. They're kind of like that, that uh, like 70s particle, like canvas type thing. So that was number 76. And so those are $7. Those are the wall plaques. And the other item that did not sell was the Hallmark mug. Uh, so this was the life is a song for the heart that is free. It's $6, uh, number 86. So those are the two items that I had from earlier. And then my last item is a uh, flashback to something that I keep looking at this, remembering, I don't think we owned one of these in my house, but I wanna say we went to a restaurant where these were used. So this is a fairly large size Parmesan cheese shaker. It doesn't have any markings or anything on the bottom, but it does have its original red plastic uh, stopper. It is a fairly good size. Uh, you can see I kind of kind of palm it. This would hold a boatload of cheese. Uh, so it's got the five holes at the top, the Parmesan, Parmesan cheese uh, shaker. It is available for eight dollars and it you can get that by giving me number 80. Eight dollars, number 80 for the Parmesan cheese shaker. So that wraps up uh, this evening's sale. So Wanted to thank uh, Nicole and Laura and Mary Beth and Laura again uh, for joining me this evening. A uh, couple notes. Uh, we finished in time. Uh, if you happen to be a follower of Thrift U, they rescheduled their sale for 10 o'clock Eastern tonight. So in 20 minutes, they will be doing their live sale. Uh, as um, Mary Beth had already mentioned, I was going to give you the plug anyway, because I always do. Uh, Friday night, so what I look forward to all week is flipping and sipping. Uh, so that is happening Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, correct? Uh, 9 p.m. Central. Uh, before that, you can catch, I think Jeffrey's back doing his sales. So Real Nifty Vintage uh, does his big sale on Friday nights. He's at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, a note uh, for all of you that have either purchased before, or even if you even if you purchased before, but definitely if you haven't, just make sure uh, you send an email to all of your the people you bought from. I will put each person's email address in the notes of the video uh, when it goes live, so you'll have that if you didn't have a chance to write it down before. Um, so please make sure you do that. Everyone will have a slightly different process of getting their invoices out. Um, I will just say that I personally am on my way out of town on vacation. Um, so I'm going to do the best I can to get some invoices out, but shipments will not be made uh, until I get back next week. I'll actually be doing my next live sale from the road. Um, so I'm actually heading out to see the Huckster Helper. So I'll be in Pennsylvania. She won't be with me for the sale, but um, we will. Uh, so there will be a delay in things from me. So I do apologize for that. Uh, and if you are interested in my coasters, you can grab coasters. Everyone who placed an order gets one for free. Anyone who placed an order that wants additional ones, you can just let me know. You get additional ones for a buck a piece. If you didn't buy from me tonight, you can go ahead and get these as a set of four for $5. So just send me an email and let me know how many coasters you want and uh, $5 includes shipping. So that is uh, my piece for the sale tonight. So again, thank you so much everyone for joining us. I uh, had a great turnout. Uh, we had some great items, a really nice variety, which is why I love these group sales. And I hope everybody had fun. So thanks for everyone for giving us your time. Uh, thanks for tuning into the channel and thanks for putting your trust in Trusty Huckster. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, thank you.